Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your mid-January reading. This is good for mid-January until about Valentine's Day. So we'll take a look at the overall energies uh, with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay, <laughs> these cars are really chatty. Um, okay, porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. You know, a beginner's mind. Interesting. You know, let's th think about it. Uh, a beginner um, is usually excited, enthusiastic, not always sure about where they're going or how they're doing it. Yeah, co crow spirit on the bottom, co-create with spirit. I can't remember. I think uh, Cancer. Cancer had that. Another water sign. So you could be dealing with Cancer, but you don't have to be. Time for beginner mind. Wow. Scorpio, true love. And this one jumped out. Four um, angels of the four directions. So your spirit guides are on this path. True love. You know, um, the true love is about somebody that can come in and um you know be a new true love for you or it can sometimes talks about you know loving yourself loving your journey loving this new direction you're going in maybe stepping into an energy of having um you know true love for yourself maybe for you know the first time like you're really stepping embracing that energy of self-love and self-care so let's see, three of wands. You've been waiting for this to happen. This new, whatever this is, we're going to clarify and try to find out. Yeah, lovely energy. King of swords, you don't have the clarity. You don't know what, exactly where you're going. <laughs> but the king of swords is also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is in your obstacle. This is, you know, something that is preventing you from getting what it is that you want. So let's see what that is. And then your advice, Knight of Wands, take action. It's like, you know, the King of Swords is like being up in your head, you know, about something. And it's kind of like take action anyway is the message that I'm getting because you have the three of wands, which is about taking action. You put it out to the universe, what it is that you want, kind of waiting for its arrival, your ships to come in. And then six of pentacles, hierophant on the bottom. Could have something to do with a long-term committed relationship, marriage, belief systems, nine of cups, 10 of pentacles. My goodness, what else is under here? Nine of Cups. Oh, Queen of Wands. Lots of wand energy. You know, that's that beginner um, that beginner mind. Lots of energy. You know, like when you're starting something new, like the new year, right? And you have your New Year's resolutions. You're all gung-ho on day one. It's like day 10 that you're kind of like wanting to throw the towel in. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're starting a new relationship that could go into a marriage or a long-term committed relationship and it's about you know loving this relationship putting the energy into this relationship but also loving yourself like having the healthy boundaries that you may need in this relationship um, about staying aligned with who you are even though you're starting this new relationship um, okay, the other message I'm getting is to recognize that you don't, when you start something new, you don't have the baggage of what you've had with this person or this situation in the past. So to begin with a clean slate, you know, don't, you know, the porcupine has all of these, um, you know, uh, pines, <laughs> um, you know, stickers or whatever they're called I do not know um but they're all sticking out right it's kind of like you know don't 
um, it's about embracing the new and not bringing the baggage of the past into this new relationship or situation. Hierophant again on the bottom. This really has to do with either a long-term committed relationship. Maggie is, <laughs> she is really, she, she, uh, she's, she's ready. <laughs> she's ready to, um, go play or do something right so let's see yeah ten of cups wow four of pentacles on the bottom you know kind of holding back needing to have a little bit of patience with this there's see here's this new starting again right a new relationship a new business for some of you maybe a new baby um a new family a new life for yourself like some of you could be like, you know, I'm going to go get the life I've always wanted. I feel like this is something that you've really wanted because it's your Ten of Cups. You're really joyful about this. And it's taken some patience for this to come in. You've been waiting a very long time. Huh. Very long. Holding back. Maybe hold on, holding back on taking action with loving yourself or stepping into this energy. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive, loves herself, fills up her cup before she fills up the cup of others. Um, so let's see what this King of Swords is because this is lovely energy. Oh, Three of Wands. Three of Wands again. Yeah, so... All right, you have this energy. Once again, this could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it's about, this is what's holding you back, resisting. This is your resistance. You're holding on to some energy with this person. A difficult ending. You know, I feel like they held, withheld information from you, withheld their time and energy with you. Didn't put the time and energy into this relationship. They made you feel, even if it wasn't an air sign, they, they kept you at a distance. They kept you at a distance. The King of Swords isn't very loving, right? It's kind of a cold energy, all like cerebral. <laughs> um, and it could be, you know, it, it could even be, you know, um, a past love relationship. It could be a parent. It could be a boss. It's somebody in your life that meant a lot to you, maybe still does mean a lot to you, that put you into this energy that, you know, you weren't worthy enough for their time and energy. You know, they just always were withholding their love I feel like this relationship ended um, and not in a very good way. You know, they could have run out in the middle of the night, that type of energy. And the thing is, is that that relationship, that situation had you not feeling like you were truly worthy of love. You've had to fall back in love with yourself because this situation made you feel like you weren't worthy of love. And so now there's a new relationship coming in on your path. You're ready. You've done some healing here, right? You, you've healed this. You've looked at this. You know, you've healed this situation that ended in the past. And there's somebody new coming on your path. Or a new opportunity if you're feeling like this is, you know, uh, job or career oriented. It feels very much <laughs> like a love relationship, but it does not have to be. And it really is spirit coming in and saying, listen, okay, you got over this. You did the healing here. You leave the baggage in the past. Do not take the hurt, the pain from this situation and bring it into this relationship. In this relationship, you get to start anew. 
it's as if this relationship had to teach you some lessons about what it is that you really want. You know, you may have thought that this was what you wanted, this person, this situation, right? And then you got into it and you realized what it really was. Lots of mind and games here. I'll have to say lots of swords action, right? And now you're getting back into your heart space. You're following your heart instead of whatever this, um, you know, situation was. So let's see what the Knight of Wands is. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're getting, oh my gosh, I got a lot of wands. I <laughs> love it. Page of Swords. Let's see, you're getting some information, new insight about love, about this new love or about, I feel like it's love in general because you have a horror thing coming up. That's about belief systems around love. So you have a Knight of Wands coming in. Somebody that has a lot of passion. There's a lot of physical attraction in this situation. You're getting to choose again for some reason. You're getting, you know, with the two of wands, it's kind of like a crossroads. You're getting, you know, this person in the past, this king of swords, could have been somebody that was highly attractive or perhaps was attracted to you because you're highly attractive, right? It could have been a very physical relationship, but it wasn't an emotional relationship. And so now you're getting to choose again, right? Do you want to do, choose just because of passion or do you want to choose because of love? Because I feel like this King of Swords maybe was very passionate. You may have confused, um, you know, sex for emotional bond, <laughs> you know, instead of, you know, having conversations, being vulnerable, opening up feelings, you know, with each other, feeling really safe to be able to share whatever. So, you know, there could have been a lot of physical attraction between the two of you and you thought that that meant love. And now it's kind of like, no, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. It, 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 it can come in and it can look really good and it can be, you know, really physically exciting but at the same time, very emotionally unavailable. Wow, interesting. So now you're looking for balance. You know, you, you've worked on your, your self-love. You've worked on loving yourself, on seeing your worth, of looking yourself in the mirror and saying, hey, Scorpio, <laughs> you're more than just a pretty face, right? There's a lot more to you. This person could have made you feel like you were only worth keeping around, you know, because you were attractive or, or you were willing to do whatever because they were so attractive, something like that. Or just, you know, just very, very, um, you know, somebody can be extremely romantic, but not emotionally available, right? Um, it's, you know, buying flowers, candy, making reservations at nice restaurants, you know. This king of swords could have had some money. You got kind of caught up in that. And now you're kind of like, oh, wait a minute. I got to look at the big picture. I got to see what's underneath the fancy clothes, you know. And, and not just the physical. I don't mean that. But, you know, down deep, underneath what's in the heart space of the person. Okay. Yes. So, wow, you have the strength to make the right choice. I love this. You're looking now for something that's more balanced. You know, that maybe is also very nice physically, but also very nice emotionally. That when you share your feelings, this person also shares their feelings and they're true and authentic, you know. Um, yeah, you're wanting a fresh start. A new love. I really feel like this is kind of like a new love. Somebody that's going to offer their feelings, that wants to work on sharing their feelings. If it is somebody coming back from the past, 
you know, I would just take it slow. I would have a beginner's mind with this. Look, you know, take fresh eyes to it and, you know, look to make sure that they're really offering their feelings and not just, you know, the physical attraction part. Well, Scorpio. Oh, this is kind of, you know, getting ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so let's see what we have here with the universe. Cosmic journey, the hero of your cosmic journey. The hero part here is that you are recognizing your worth. You are recognizing that you deserve somebody, that it's more than just a physical attraction, that you want an emotional connection in your romantic love life. Well... I'll have to say that the water signs, these are general readings, though all three water signs have gone to the relationship side. Um, so, interesting. I think part of that is, you know, we have the full moon in Cancer next week. We're having the Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde. Feelings are coming up, so I'm not kind of, I'm not surprised. Okay, what can I burn? I love this card, and, you know, I think it's very fitting with this reading. Burn it. Burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you are not enough. Burn. Baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. And I really love that because I think that that is this beginner's mind, right? Burn the past. Burn whatever this king of swords made you feel like, right? You've gone into um, healing yourself, finding your self-worth, loving yourself for who you are, and getting in alignment with your soul's purpose. And now it's kind of like, okay, so all the memories of this past person or what they said or whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Just burn it. Just big bonfire. Okay, make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? You have the beginner's mind. What will you write for your next chapter? You get to begin again. Wow, I really love this reading. Thank you, angels. Yeah, it really kind of came very well together, full circle. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. If you did enjoy this message or resonate with it, I really would appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. And I do. I wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.